And you made it to part three of the technology module. So now we're going to move into uh, the social emotional learning through technology. Um, what I've done here is I have tried to think about ways that you can really make a difference for your students uh, through social emotional learning and then also using technology. So some of the things that um, I wanted to kind of bring us back to is remember how Paul had his learners um, playing games and he saw their reaction and then made the connection between um, playing games and how he set up his classroom. Um, I see the technology as being a great way to really, and even gaming, to be a great way to really think about how we can support students in growing not only as learners but as people. So social emotional learning supports academic um, and life achievement. It improves school culture. We know this. It promotes positive relationships. Uh, students who get excited then want to work together and, and um, help each other along. As I've mentioned in class, no man left behind. Um, we are a community and we will get to the end of the semester. Um, the communication skills increase, the collaboration, the problem solving, the persistence, the decision making, and the empathy. And there are many more. Those are the ones I'm going to focus on just for this uh, portion. So uh, what does technology do? It um, helps students learn 21st century skills. Uh, we know that uh, the future is the use of, of technology, the use of computers or laptops or iPads or whatever it is. Uh, so we need to start preparing our students for being able to work within a world where they are being challenged technolo technologically. Uh, this prepares them for college and career, uh, getting them used to being able to troubleshoot online, uh, using online platforms, um, all of these things are, are really helping them so that they have the skills to be successful after they graduate from high school. And then I like this, uh, it was looking at gaming as you analyze problems without instructions. You communicate findings to others, so sometimes that's across borders and time zones. You have the technology skills like coding um, that can get you so far, but you need to go even further by using your critical thinking and decision making skills. And so gaming really uh, allows students to uh, think beyond just the um, literal answer to questions. So I've come up with a few websites here for you to try out. Um, some of these are really great for, um, for the uh, more kindergarten or um, uh, different levels of, um, of cognition. So for example, Starfall and Mouse Trail, uh, Trial, those are two websites that are really for um, a lower levels. So let's take a look at those. So here is Starfall. You can see that you can join and then you can have the login. I'm not gonna go there. It's for parents, educators, homeschool. They even have a store. Uh, but you can just kind of click on this, so it's fun to read. So I'll click on it's fun to read. Oops. And okay, I want to tell you what I just did. When the page came up blank, I went to a different um, server. So now I'm on um, I'm on Safari, and I was able to get into the website on Safari, even though I wasn't able to get onto it in Chrome. So sometimes you have to troubleshoot like that. All right, so here we go. It's fun to read. We've got all about me, music, poetry, tongue twisters. Let's do that. That's kind of fun. And we've got the fuzzy wuzzy. And fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy wuzzy had no hair. Um, you can see that it goes along. It highlights the word and um, is uh, has got the really great animation next to it. It's not overwhelmingly engaging or um, an unbelievable website but it will at least give you something to kind of get students comfortable and possibly excited about um, about this website. Let's go here. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy. I'm gonna take that off now. So <laughs> there we go. So the next one uh, I wanted to show you is um, well, we can do this now. So knowledgeadventure.com. So this one, they say, uh, so they've got all of these different places, but they say that they're educational games. 
uh, for Forum Knowledge Adventure um, that they are used for over two decades and all of that. So you can go through and pick an age, a subject, a grade, um, or the arcade. Um, and, you know, so why don't we do science games? And here's a bunch of different science games that we have. So, um, you know, what we can do, the cup, the cup stacking. Um, so anyway, you can go through and play around with this um, with this website and learn more about different things that you can do there. Um, another one is Mouse Trial, and here it is to help students um, develop receptive language. Um, so once again, you can kind of play around here. We can just kind of click on animals, and then they have these all these different um, try it for free games um, on animals and little modules around that. Uh, let's see. Um, so that's Starfall Mouse Tri Trial and uh, Knowledge Adventure. Now I want to go through um, Classroom Inc. And this is really great for middle school. And what they've done, and this is also great for social emotional learning. So they have After the Storm and Community Crisis our community in crisis are uh, two of their websites. So right here you can see you can register uh, for free and try the games out with your students and you um, they are a nonprofit that that works at trying to find ways for um, kids to um, become more um, uh, knowledgeable about social emotional learning. Um, so here you go, you can play After the Storm or Community in Crisis. After the Storm, you're the boss at a magazine company and you have to make all these decisions. Whereas Community in Crisis is you are a leader at a community center after a storm and you have to figure out uh, what next steps need to be taken. And this is, um, it's a creative way to get kids into kind of a sim game and um, learning about troubleshooting. Uh, next one is Brain Pop, um, and the thing I wanted to show you about this is um, they do have a, um, a free registration for um, for educators, pre-service teachers. So if you just uh, contact them and say, "Hey, um, I am a teacher in training, and I would love to explore your website," then they will give you a free account so that you can do that. So here is, um, you can pick your um, subject. So why don't we do social studies? And then you can go through, we've got um, Hispanic heritage and um, you know all these different topics. So we'll click on Cesar Chavez. We've got a movie, a quiz, make a map, make a movie, primary sources, FYI, and activities. Um, and it says, stop, don't cross the picket line in this brain pop movie. Tim and Moby introduce you to the life and work of the great American labor leader, Cesar Chavez. And then you can click on that, get the whole thing. There's lesson ideas and also a way to create a quiz. Um, so this is, and these movies are actually, they're, oh, whoops, it's not going to let me do it without signing in. But these movies are, are quite good. So that's another option. For you to explore and you can see also that it's got brain pop brain pop junior and brain pop esl so for my esl educators um, here is one of the resources you can definitely use the next one i like to show you is common sense education and this is uh, let's so here's common sense education and i'm actually going to put my oops just at tu.edu and I am going to register for this. Um, oh, it's, let's see. Let's see if I can get it. Um, I will pause. So one of the things I like about this, so now I am working on my, my um, account and you can see about me and it gives us some subscriptions. So we've got Digital Classroom Weekly that I could subscribe to, Plug in Parent Weekly, Kids Action Periodically, um, it, they'll send something out and also Bulletin Latino. So we've got a lot of options for getting information and I'm just going to skip for now and um, that'll bring us to the website. And now they know who is coming to this website 
and um, then I'm also getting resources. So it works well for both of us. All right, so here is Common Sense Education. So here's some reviews and some of the standards that it meets, uh, Common Core Standards. Then here's the Digital Citizenship, and it goes through and it's got, whoops, um, Games and Interactive. So they've got the Digital Passport, which I really like, uh, Connecting Families, um, all of these things. So, and then digital teaching, professional development, and of course the privacy. So what are you looking for? So why don't we do the uh, digital citizen? And actually, I'm going to go back and we will look real quickly at, um, nope, that was the digital citizen that I wanted. Uh, I apologize. So digital C citizen, and that's got interactive games um, to empower your students. And you can see that there are different topics to prepare students um, and strengthen school communities and then they tell you um, you know how which ones work for which grade level and we can see a lesson and it goes through digital life sixth to eighth grade you can download in different um, languages and iBook and all of those things we've got the lesson objectives the alignment with the standards um, so all of that is there and then uh, the doom to doom yeah so anyway so you can actually go through and um, play around with this um, and see if it is something that would work for your students and here is actually a blog that talks about um, different ways that you can use this website as a teacher. So I want you to now pick one of these websites and I want you to um, tell me how you could integrate it into your classroom. So you go to pick one and then tell me um, which one you could integrate, how you can, and why you would. So um, go ahead and answer on your uh, critical reflection activity sheet.